Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at some amazing visualization features in SketchUp 2025. So I don't want to overuse this term, but I think it's safe to say that SketchUp 2025 allows you to make the best looking SketchUp models you've ever made. Um, there's always been tools in there to get like import custom materials and, and put those on there. But there's some stuff in SketchUp 2025 that is just beyond anything that you've been able to do with SketchUp before. Um, I'm not talking about using rendering engines. Those are awesome. Rendering engines are amazing and let you get to that, that photo reel thing at the end. That's great. But SketchUp 2025 visualization allows you to create models and work on them and have them just literally the best looking ever. Uh, so we're going to take a look at how that works in SketchUp for desktop and we're going to hop in right now. Okay, so I have a model here, and this is SketchUp. We are we are inside SketchUp, no uh, no rendering, no post work at all, and you can see some stuff happening here. You see, uh, for one thing, like like look at this look at this face right here on this model as I move this around. See how that light changes on it, how it reflects. That is not like uh, just a a good looking reflective texture. That is actually light playing off of the properties of a material. Um, that's cool. That's awesome. And let's, let's talk a little bit about why and what that all is. So the first thing to notice is that this is all SketchUp. You can see, see the colors changing as I move around, uh, at the same time, if I, if I come in here, I'm going to double click a couple times to get into this thing right here. You can see that this right here is just a SketchUp surface. So here, here I'm actually push pulling. Uh, let's uh, let's go in here. Let's let's push pull something that makes a little more sense. Now I'll make this a little bit taller, so I'll drag that up and down, and you can see that that's that is exactly what this is. Just SketchUp, no post, no rendering, no nothing like that. This is just good looking materials and lighting happening right inside SketchUp actively. Uh, let's talk about what this exactly means. So SketchUp 2025 has a different way of visualing visualizing models than ever before. So if I come over here into styles, a couple of things to mention, uh, if I click here to edit my style, one of the things that's in here, of course, is ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion was actually in here in the last release, but uh, ambient occlusion is a part of why these models look so good. So when we look down here, we see this little, little bit of shadow between these two surfaces as they meet, a little teeny shadow here underneath this person. This is all ambient occlusion, right? This is those uh, occluded shadows that happen anytime to surfaces come together. It's what happens in the real world, uh, that sort of thing. And that is part of what makes this model look as good as it does. The other thing that makes it look as good as it does is the materials. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit my paint bucket tool and pull up my colors window. Now I'm on Mac, so if you are on Windows, this is going to look a little bit different, but the same information is being portrayed here. So as I look at some of these materials, you can see, I called this out earlier, this, this shiny black material here as we move it, see how that it reflects on there. Um, the light plays across these different materials. So even look down here, we've got this grass, we've got this kind of sunset light happening right now where it's bringing in this warmth and this, uh, this you know, deeply angled light. This is all part of the 2025 uh, visualization. So let's talk a little bit about these, these new materials that we can put in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave the colors in model. There's a bunch in this model. But let's go hop in here. Let's, let's look at a brick material. I like brick. Uh, brick is cool looking, probably because I grew up and still live in suburbia, and I just don't have enough brick in my life. I have to get it in SketchUp. Um, so let's grab this. We have this context model over here. It's kind of this uh, semi-see-through material. But if I click in here a couple times, we can get in and we can, here's this main face. Um, I want to put a couple of materials on here. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab a edge and draw that straight down here. And there we go. Break that into two separate pieces. All right. And I will grab a brick material. I'm just going to grab this one here on the end. I'm going to put that right there. And we can zoom in here. This is a, hu this is a huge, this is, <laughs> that's like four or five stories tall, just, just straight brick. But there we go. You can see that. Look at that brick, it looks good. And as I, again, as I go like this, 
Look at how, how the, the light changes across the face. It's not as extreme as that black piece was. That black piece was supposed to be like a, I don't know, a painted metal surface. You can see it's not, not as extreme because it's not shiny, but you can see how the light changes as I flick back and forth right here. And this is, again, actively on this, uh, just a surface in SketchUp. Um, that works because, let's here, let's go home and let's, uh, I'm going to double click on this material and bring up the properties of this material. So this is the big difference. This is a big change that happened inside of SketchUp 2025 on how we show materials is rather than just having an image or a color or something like that, SketchUp now has this additional properties in here. So we have these four checkboxes, metalness, roughness, normals, and ambient occlusion. So this one doesn't have a metalness. The metalness is like that straight up shininess, the reflectiveness that, that was on that other piece of material. If I was to turn this on, we'd get much more shine on here than, uh, than we would actually want on a brick. So you can kind of see how that, look at how it kind of, like if we came and put some clear coat over the bricks is what that's going to look like. The roughness, uh, I can actually slide this up and down. You'll see how that changes too. Roughness and metalness are almost at odds with each other, yet control two slightly different values. But I can see here as I drop my roughness down, it gets a little bit shinier. Uh, whereas something like a brick wall is gonna, that's kind of the epitome of full roughness. So we also have normals in here. If I crank this up, I'll get what I would call too normal. I don't, I don't know, it's just overly normal. Um, but no, that's just pulling up those, those surfaces. So you can see, see how the light is reflecting. It's coming here in here uh, on these pieces between the brick and by sliding that normal up, I'm getting more light catching there than I necessarily want, but I can change that normal. And then of course, ambient occlusion is that those shadows that happen inside the texture between the faces. And I can actually increase or decrease that as well to get, you know, less ambient occlusion. Um, you guys know how I feel about ambient occlusion though. Where am I, how am I gonna go anything less than one on ambient occlusion? So this material, uh, as we put it in there, reacts then with the light that I have in the model. So if I look at another material real quick, let's just, let's just, uh, let's grab something that's full shine. Let's go some, get some metal. Let's go grab some metal and I'm just gonna throw this highly reflective material. Oops, I'm gonna get back in here. Uh, and go put that on that material that material on there and you can see there with this that's just that material is fully let's I don't even know let's just go check I'm assuming that's a hundred percent metalness yeah look at that and uh, you can see not only is the light changing but because it's so reflective we're actually getting a reflection of the sky dome back there as we move around speaking of sky dome transition yep segue let's go so Another piece of this visualization is what we're seeing all around. Not just that light. I was talking about the light. The light is great. It's great that it's, it's showing light. It's lighting things up. But you see, we also have this image all the way around. This image all the way around. That that's what the lighting's coming from. If I come over here to this new panel called Environments, you can see what we got in here. We got down at the bottom, we have our, our current environment. And at the bottom, we have a handful of other environments we could switch to. So I could switch between these two, or these, I think there's 18 in here to start with. And that's going to do a couple things. Not only is it going to change the image in the back, but it's actually going to change the, the lighting values. So if I switch to, so rather this uh, sunrise sky right here, I'm going to switch to this one, which is at C. You can see not only did the background change, but that lighting changed considerably, that warm deep reflection, reflective light that was coming in from the side, that's gone. And instead we have this kind of cool, cool, that's that's the word to use, cool lighting coming in all around. Uh, so we can see as we switch these different things, we're gonna get different lights coming in from different spots. And then we're also gonna get a change to that sky dome. If I click on edit right here, there's some things I can actually change as well. So uh, I can change the rotation angle of that sky dome. You can see not only does that switch that around what's behind me, but it also changes the lighting as well. We can also change the exposure both of the sky dome itself. So you'd fade that sky dome in and out and I can actually reflections. I can increase or decrease those as well. So a lot of control over this, but uh, one of my favorite things to do in here is to check this little box right here, set sun location. 
And you'll see what happens is here's the sky dome image, right? This is the, the image of the whole thing here laid out flat. You can see there's a little sun location on here. The sun location by default is where the sun is in the image. But I have the ability to just grab that and start sliding it around and put it in different places. And then I can see how that actually changes the reflection on my, my model, how that changes the lighting. So pretty cool, uh, a neat way to go in and fine tune how do you want? So not just before, you know, we could we could say use sh sun as shading, and then we could set the day and time, and it would drop a shadow, uh, that kind of thing. This gives us a, just a new level of control over how we visualize. And I want to drop one more, give, show you guys one more thing here that I think is super cool. Uh, I'm going to drop right down in here. I got this little box just kind of sitting out front. I'm going to put a new material on here. So I'm gonna say file, I'm gonna to go to import, and out here on my desktop, I have this tile material. I'm gonna import that as a texture. This isn't new, this is this is old stuff, right? So I'm gonna grab that and I'm start pulling across like that. And uh, there we go, it tiles it. This should look familiar because what I just did is just standard stuff. I imported that. You can see I didn't, that material was not seamless. So I have this obvious seam right across here. Um, not beautiful looking, not bad, but uh, not great. So it did come in as material with reflectivity. So you can see I have metalness on there. I'm seeing the light shine on here. That's awesome. That happened automatically. But you can see it, it looks like a vinyl sticker is on this thing, right? It's one flat piece. There's no normals. There's no uh, ambient occlusion. There's no, it's not honoring the fact that I have grout here versus tile. None of that's happening. Fortunately, almost as if I set that up intentionally to teach you something. Hey, I did. Uh, if I pick this material, if I double click on there, uh, when this comes up, I get this little generate texture magic pixie dust sprinkly icon, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it and let SketchUp 2025 use the power of AI to analyze this material figure out not just how to make it seamless, because that's what it obviously needs. I have these weird shaped tiles in here. They should all be the same. So I'm not only gonna get a seamless texture right now, but it's actually gonna figure out what my roughness and normal maps should look like as well. So when it's done, it's gonna give me, okay, not only, like I said, there's my seamless, but I can actually see when I look at it, see how the, the light plays differently off the grout than it does through the tile. And that happens automatically. And now that material is part of my model. So if I come in here, Look at this, I go back Go back to my, my material in my model and I will see that there's that material. And now I can use that just like any other material, I can apply that. It created, used AI to create a brand new texture material there that I can apply anytime and have it behave just like any of the default materials that I've been using throughout the rest of my model. So there you go, there's a, a quick shot, a quick idea of how to use SketchUp 2025 to create the best looking SketchUp models you have ever created. That wasn't meant to be disparaging. I'm sure you've created some amazing looking models in the past, but I for one am excited to see what you can do with these features. How do you take your good looking models and make them look even better using new materials, image-based lighting, and maybe even a little bit of AI? I'd have nowhere to go. I had nowhere to close that. Let's try that one last time. That was not meant to be disparaging. I'm sure you've created some amazing looking models in the past, but think about what you could do with this new materials, these, these physical based materials, this uh, image based lighting and a little bit of AI. I for one can't wait to see what your SketchUp models look like now. Thank you.